Good morning guys. Wednesday here up here in Loma Rica. Beautiful day out so far this morning. Uh, I wanted to kind of go over the some issues I'm having with the K988 loader that we just got the other night. Uh, the other, well, late afternoon, uh, day before yet on Monday. Monday. And today's Wednesday. And I didn't have much time to mess with it yesterday. We were so busy with the 615 and hauling dirt and stuff. Um, but uh, I, I drove it a little bit yesterday before we, before I put it in the in the trailer, and uh, it was not quite. It can't take a load. In first gear, it was uh, grinding, like it wasn't going engaged all the way. So I parked it. I didn't want to mess with it, and I was tired and everything. So we, I took it home and I got it out this morning. And uh, I'm looking at it, and I thought maybe it's just an adjustment, you know. But I, so what I found out, what I could do instead of adjusting uh, the uh, tr tractor itself, I went into. Uh, isn't that funny that sound it makes? Here, I gotta turn this on, or it's not happy. Switch not in its highest position. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything's up. Okay. Excuse the battery. I haven't got the proper battery. They haven't sent it to me yet or it isn't here yet. Anyway, um, so what I did is anyway, I went into uh, to my uh, custom menu. I went into sub trim here. And uh, it's channel seven is the uh, is the gearbox, and I it was all everything is at zero except now I had to switch this to uh, see what is that uh, ten percent positive, and now it's fine. I can put it under a load. And uh, it's not grinding anymore. Uh, I, it would run fine on its own, but as soon as you hit, put the bucket in the ground, it would slip out of gear, and you know, kind of almost slip out of gear. It was just you could hear the gears grinding. Uh, so I I got into the radio and I did that. I, I went up to 20%, and that was too much, and. Uh, then then second gear wouldn't work right so I ended up at 10 percent I'm I'm sure if you guys even got this issue this the percentage are probably going to be different but that's one way to fix this issue I just wanted to let everybody know uh, what's going on here with this thing I was kind of pissed yesterday because it wasn't working right you know you pin four almost five grand on a tractor and it, and it doesn't uh, work just like Jim's big boy haul truck yesterday broke down we've only got three loads out four loads out of that thing and it's, it keeps breaking down and another issue I'm having with this is the uh, the uh, quick connect on the bucket uh, the other night when we got it out of the box got it all fired up was running around in the garage floor uh, it was their quick release was working fine this morning It'll release just fine, but it won't re-engage the pins back out for some reason. But so what I do is I just what I've been doing is I lift it up here where I can see it and uh, turn that pump off, and then I uh, let me get this camera off so I can show you what I've been doing. Let's see. I take a screwdriver and uh, down in here there's a little groove in this pin. I don't know if you can see it, but that screwdriver is in that groove. And then you can pry it and it'll all set, you know, it'll pop out. But you got to do them both. You got it won't it won't pop out the other one. You got to do them both both uh, sim you know to get them to go back engaged. I don't know what's going on there. Because it worked fine the first night, but it works fine to disengage. But 
re-engaging it's not it's not doing it so without some help so anyway that's an that's an issue I'm not really concerned with because currently I don't have you know there's no attachments for it uh, one guy commented that there is a guy that in Switzerland possibly that's making a smooth blade bucket for it uh, I don't know that I'm gonna need a smooth blade but because I got a smooth blade on my uh, XD and I like that tractor real well uh, I like this one real well it's got a lot of features I mean the dashboard even lights up and it's also got uh, if you press those three buttons down by his feet um, it'll do different settings and stuff it'll show you different things uh, the same on the back it's got that screen right up in there on the right hand corner uh, you can go through a bunch of settings on that a lot of it's in Chinese uh, you can't really read it because we're Americans but anyway it is available there <coughs> uh, so pretty cool machine so far uh, seems to have a lot of power uh, especially now that I got it where it's not slipping out of gear uh, I just didn't like that grinding gear you know that's not good uh, if you can't find them grind them kind of thing uh, so <laughs> I just wanted to kind of get this video out here just kind of an overview of the K988 uh, uh, the decals I don't care for uh, you know you, you go online you look at real real machines and uh, they're totally different from what they send you uh, I mean they send you a K98 988 but it's not it's not the uh, black black band with the uh, white letters and the red slash uh, sash bar on it you know anyway I'll figure something out on those but I just didn't care for those decals other than that uh, pretty awesome machine it's big it's a lot bigger than the uh, XD uh, a lot of chrome features on it uh, chrome piping and intricate bins and stuff they make on those are just amazing uh, pretty cool uh, big old uh, bucket ram on that thing and the uh, boom arms are about a normal size but uh, compared to other things anyway just wanted to kind of get on and show you what happened with this thing uh, the, the couple issues that I've had and other than that it seems to be okay uh, like I said the uh, quick release I'm not really concerned with because won't be using it uh, if I do I just use a screwdriver and pop those back out anyway you guys take care uh, thanks for watching just wanted to get this information out there to those who are buying or thinking of buying one of these I uh, hope this helps uh, you guys all take care have fun and we'll catch you on the next video bye